Are you worried about a so-called second wave that is supposedly going to happen in the winter time, where the virus comes back in stronger uh, doses than it came before? Well, we're monitoring the, the virus very closely right now. You know, at Harvard, we're blessed. We have some of the world's uh, foremost specialists on infectious disease and epidemiology and virology. So these are things which we're watching very, very closely. Um, some states right now are already seeing an increase um, uh, in the number of diagnosed cases as they you know, loosen their social distancing requirements and economies uh, attempt to start up again. So you know, we have not made a decision yet whether or not bring, to bring students back or how many to bring back. We're trying to delay that as long as we can so we have the best information possible. But we'll be monitoring it. One of the things which will be a gating factor in terms of how many students we bring back is the degree to which we can provide for isolating any student who gets sick. Um, we wanna make sure we've got enough room that if we have a breakout on campus, we can actually isolate those students who are sick uh, from those who are healthy. So that's a concern as well. What about the faculty? The faculty tends to be older than the students and the faculty, old people are in their 50s, 60s or 70s, they tend to be more at risk. Are, are you worried about the faculty? Well, it's not just the faculty, it's the faculty, it's the staff, um, those who work in the dormitories, those who work in the dining halls. Um, and it's not just them, it's also um, all the people in the community that our students and others encounter. As a group, students are quite healthy and there've been very, very few fatalities in, uh, in age range that are represented by our students, except for those who have pre-existing conditions. But we have students with pre-existing conditions as well who we need to be careful about. So the concern is not just for the health of the students, the concern is for the health of the community.